All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303com Check out the website. Link in the description box. Mind, body, spirit, fitness. Put in the healing back and health. Coming at you today with a video on how to overcome sin, right? Or whatever these negative habits are in your life. I'm going with sin. This is, I guess you can say, it's geared more towards Christianity, Christians, Catholics. But do some, you know, revise this strategy and use it for yourself. That's the key. Molding it, taking the template, and using it to your advantage. Right? So where I say prayer, where I say Bible, you say whatever. Right? You can turn it into usa, akuna matata, whatever you want. Right? I don't really care. Just do it. Don't turn off this video because I'm talking about Christianity. Open your mind. Expand your mind. Come on, Craig. Right? So... That's for my Friday fans out there. But anyways, what can we do as Christian men and women? What can we do? First of all, know scripture, the Bible. I struggle with this one. I can at least now recite some of the scripture. I just don't know where it's at in the Bible. But once again, it's knowing scripture, right? When you're reading the Bible and you, it's something you can relate to, remember it. For whatever it, you know, if you're having trouble with addiction to porn, alcohol, food, whatever the case may be, right? Find these scriptures and give them as a reminder. Because when Jesus went into the, de into the desert for 40 days, the devil tempted him by distorting scripture. And Jesus retorted with scripture. One does not live on bread alone. Thou shalt not... Put the God, your, your God to test, right? Whatever the other one was. Same thing with Adam and Eve. When she was tempted, right? What did the devil say? The devil twisted God's word. Did he really say you couldn't eat from the fruit, that tree, or you would die? Blah, 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 blah. I wish I had the Bible. I should have looked it up for you. Look it up. You know, he twists God's words. He twists the things. So you have to know scripture to combat it. Combat these temptations with scripture. Right? So find verses that you can relate to. Sorry, I feel a lot of spit building up in the corner of my mouth. That's one. For me, too, for me, profanity is a big thing. You might not know it because I don't think I cuss too much in these videos or use uh, language of that sort. I know I kind of said crap before or something like that. But in real life, folks, I struggle with it. You know, like I said, I listened to gangster rap from third grade. The first gangster rap album I listened to was Snoop Dogg Doggy Style when that came out, probably fifth grade. I was jamming that on a tape in fifth grade. And how old are you in fifth grade? You start first at seven, seven, six. So first grade six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So at eleven or twelve years old, I was listening to that stuff. So next, let's see. I got off of that. What was I saying? Sorry, I got off track there. Scripture. Um, oh, okay. So for me, it's a it's a prayer. The Our Father. Whenever I curse, I will just say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So I've gotten away from that. But I used to say that all the time when I would cuss. When I would use profanity, I would say an Our Father or a Hail Mary, or a Jesus, or, you know, you can use the Fatima prayer, you can use the Glory Be, something as that reminder that you are doing something wrong, doing something displeasing, you know, some people will say profanity, there's nothing wrong with it, but if it's something you're trying to overcome, you yourself have already established the boundary that this is something I don't want to be doing, right? So, last but not least, this is the one that our priest said during Lent. It's, you're trying to do it yourself. Quit trying to do it yourself. Let God change you. I made, I think I made the video, this might even be a repeat of that video now that I think about it. Um, don't change for God. And I go in a little more detail about it. Don't change for God. Right? Because there are great things and great um, attributes about you that God probably wants and He just needs them tweaked. Right? That's why I said for me, I'm a very... I'm a very sarcastic person. Some people would call it rude. But that's just me. I've always been that way. 
I've always been a smart ass. There's a little profanity for you. You know, a smart butt, whatever you want to call it. But there's a way to tweak and use it to my advantage because unfortunately, you know, a lot of churchgoers are really uptight and they give this false sense of I'm perfect or people at least that's what people that are that don't go to church see. So be yourself, but do it without using profanity, negative language, whatever the case may be. You, that's you. Why? Because that's what people need to relate to. When I had my, check out my video on the, uh, my conversation with a gay man, you know, and that was the same thing. You know, I used to tell him, yeah, you know, I told him, you know, I used to go to strip clubs. I used to, I used to, you know, do this and do that. He's like, oh man, you're a Christian and you go to strip clubs. Like, no, I don't, I, I don't go anymore. You know, I used to, I'm not perfect, man. You know, I'm sitting here drinking a beer with you right now. I'm not perfect. I'm just trying to let God perfect me, you know? Um, but that's what you gotta, you gotta let these people know that you're not perfect. You know, the same, that same concept is, Hey guys, you just hanging around watching some YouTube videos. That's pretty awesome. Hey, don't forget to visit the website, trueresults303.com. Got a newsletter you can subscribe to. Uh, go to the free gifts. Got a couple free downloads, setting goals, nutrition, supplementation, exercise, warm-up, anything you need. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share and like these videos. If you find a perfect church, don't attend it because once you enter into that church, it is no longer perfect. And there's no such thing as a perfect church. It's built of men. And I think the Catholic Church has been the great example of it with the scandal and whatever else we have. You know? But you've got to remember, these are just men as well. They messed up. David messed up, right? David messed up. Um, Samson messed up. I think it was Samson. You know? Or Solomon, whoever it was, messed up. We're always going to mess up. Peter messed up. St. Paul messed up. Right? So we're going to make mistakes. None, none, nobody in that Bible is perfect. No character of the Bible, no person of the Bible is perfect. Jonah tried to run away from God's plan, right? But God always has a way of bringing you back. But anyways, so stop trying to change because the things that you change just need tweaking. They don't need to be changed and God can tweak. God can tweak. You know, I think God's more into the tweaking business than the complete changing of the person. He just needs to fine tune you. Kind of like when we talk about the universe, right? One of the Catholic arguments of, of God creating the universe and how this is not just by mistake, is that fine tuning of the universe to where if there was just this little bit more, less oxygen in the environment, the human being wouldn't be alive, right? Or there wouldn't be water on earth. Or if the moon was just a little bit farther away, or we were just a little bit farther away from the sun, this would not be possible. So the fine-tuning of you is all that God wants. He wants you to be fine-tuned. He's already made you the way He wants. You have just tuned yourself away from God. Now He was trying to bring you back. So, I hope that helps. Overcoming sin. Finding scriptures that work for you. Um, using prayer and Letting God change you. Don't change for God. So I hope that helps. Subscribe to the channel. Share and like these videos.